my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this look using the Urban Decay Palettes um, eyeliner, lip, lippy and cream. So if you want to see how I created this look using these products from Urban Decay, stay tuned. I'm very excited to get started. Let's see what we can create today. The packaging is so cute and I'm loving the colors. So let's just kind of dig right in. And we're gonna start with some Enigma. Next, we're gonna get into some elevation and get that up on the brow bone. Not well, not really the brow bone. Well, I guess the transition color. And this one's levitation. Almost sounds like we're gonna start singing a U2 song. Then we're gonna take a bit of Not For Sale and that'll be for our crease. Colors are going on incredibly easy. Okay, with the flat brush, we're gonna take some BK. I may switch brushes. With a flat brush, I'm going to go in with the color Crown, which is this nice yellow, gold yellow. Then I'm going to use some Sudium. We're gonna take a clean fluffy brush and kind of blend all of that together. And if we need to lighten or brighten um, any of the colors, then we can do that now that we've mixed. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of the levitation and just kind of sweep that back in our transition. I'll take a little bit of a makeup pad and clean up. I'm going to add some e.l.f. and this is in the color charcoal. Got to get my little mirror ready so I can see. We're going to curl our eyelashes. And we're gonna go with some Charlotte Tillsbury Legendary Lashes. And that's for my sister Cass. There's a wink out to my sister. All right, so now we're going to use the palette from this collection, if I can get it open. Another beautiful box. So I love the artistic bits on the outside of the box. I love, love, love art, so for me this is awesome. And we've got some X-rated, now's the time, Jawbone, and NoHo. I don't know, let's see. Um, we're gonna use Jawbone as the, oh, whoa. Uh, that is some Jawbone. Okay, I'm gonna have to, and, and then look, I got them, I don't even have them equal. What in goodness name did I just do? Okay, so I was going to use Jawbone to contour, and as you can see, it's pretty dang pigmented. Um, and it didn't help that I got them both in the wrong, or did not get it symmetrical. So let's see if I can blend that out. Okay, well at least it blends out pretty good. 
Um, so that's nice considering what a mess I had just a second ago. And we will use it on the jawline. I think to brighten this look, I am going to try some X-rated. That kind of not scares me. I just don't use colors that bright. So that's kind of fun, right? We got to push ourselves outside our comfort zone. Ooh. Okay, these colors are highly pigmented, so you're just not going to need a whole lot. So we're going to try this highlighter here called Now's the Time. Oh, wow. Okay, now is the time for looking like a cupcake. Yes! Wow. Okay, this is high, highly, highly pigmented. Wow. This palette is, or palettes are off the hook. Totally pigmented. Be careful. So I did get one of the lip pencils and one of the lipsticks. So um, this one, so this lip pencil is called Anatomy. This is actually an eye pencil. So we're using it as a lip pencil. And then the color I got is, um, and again, look at how cute that is. Ah, love the packaging. Um, this one is called Abstract, and it's a cream. And that completes this look. I'm gonna go do my hair and then I'll give you some of my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and review. So I really enjoyed using all of these products. Um, I will say the pigmentation is off the hook. I was not expecting that much pigmentation with just a little swipe of the brushes. So please be careful. Um, which it was awesome. As you guys saw, I had my contour all messed up. Um, I had gotten shocked by the con, like one little swipe Ooh, is all up in my face and, um, had to blend those out and try to equal those off. I was just taken aback by the level of, um, pigmentation on that. So then, um, I did use the eyeliner as a lip liner to give this color that almost looks very similar to what is in the palette that's called Not For Sale. So I'd use that up in the transition and just kind of wanted to bring that whole look together. The lipstick is cream. Um, this one was called Abstract and so it is a cream finish. And as you can tell, it will transfer. So you're going to have to be careful with that lipstick in case you are one that is normally used to wearing things that don't transfer. This will budge, smudge, and move on you. Um, back to this palette here. I love that um, you can travel with it. So I'm actually going to be leaving today for a few days for business. And so I've got two blushes. I've got my contour and this highlight. Kapow! Check that out. Like, if you can't see that in outer space, you're not looking. Um, and the mirror is great. The packaging is absolutely adorable. I love the artistic flair on this. And then, as far as the eyeshadows go, I used most of the eyeshadows with the exception of these two here. So, I've actually used um, six of the eight eyeshadows to create this look. And I really like those also. They, again, highly pigmented. Pick up. Again, highly pigmented, but um, they ended up blending well. I was hoping that the blue would stand out a little bit more because um, as you blended it down, it kind of turned to a blackish gray and you really couldn't see I was just hoping for more of a pop of blue, but from what I've seen from most people's um, palettes, blue must be really hard to do because you just don't get the same um, pop like you do in the pan. However, I really like this color crown. I think it does great giving a nice gold um, 
These colors here are light and are used very well for a transition, so love those. Uh, the Not For Sale was great and so was the BK. I think those were true colors. So I really overall enjoyed this palette. In fact, I'm gonna be taking, this is the only palette I'm gonna take with me over the next couple days to just play with this some more and see if there's another eye look I wanna create um, and maybe video. Really, really enjoyed these as far as um, the pigmentation goes and the blendability. So yeah, I'm excited to see what else I could create from from this palette for another look. Thank you so much again for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to as a friend. Refer me as a friend to a friend. And as always, you have the choice to make it a beautiful day. Until next time.